And welcome to our legitimate hacks video. Today we are going to be talking about a couple of pre-order bonuses with the X and Y games. And I'm going to be showing you my Pokey plushy collection because it's very small, so we're just going to throw two short things together. Yes. So, first up, we're going to talk a little bit about what we get at Target. We went right out there today. Pre-ordering X and Y, you get these amazing pins. Double. They're so They're cute. They're so cute. They're really a dollar. Nice, really good quality, too. Yeah. Like. Here's the cliche, plug in back. Yep. Yeah. We love them. So awesome. I'm a big Xerneas fan. I'm Evelto. So, yep. Know what game I'm getting. We fight each other. He's crazy and he's getting both. Yeah. But <laughs> Originally I wasn't, but now I am. But I got yeah. times four with me so he can buy the other game. I'm and Andrew. we get to trade with each other. Yeah. The best thing about being in a relationship and both being gamers. Yes. Pokemon. <laughs> okay, it so is. we're going to talk about a little bit about the other pre orders. Um, Times four, take it away. Um, the only other pre order bonus here in America is GameStop. You get a double sided poster, one side being uh, uh, the two legendaries, yeah. and the other side being a map. The Kalos map. Kalos region. Yes. Um, and I have it, it's cool. In the UK, there is a pre order bonus where Random cards. you are given a. Uh, like a Pokeball, a Pokeball game holder. Game holder that holds like three 3DS three games. Three 3DS games. Three 3DS games, yeah. It was yeah. cool. It's a Pokeball to a base and you can come off the base. Uh, it's just like, gotta catch the games. Like, apparently they brought back the gotta catch them all and catch for I saw really? on like a pre order oh. poster thing. They put it at the bottom. I was like, oh my god. But I was, them all. Yeah. Gotta buy them all. I gotta buy them. Oh, and then in Japan, there's in Japan, a pre order bonus. I'm this. doing it. Pretend so, we have all Pokemon merchandise. Yes. This is, you get the game, you get a clear file like this, where so, it opens up and you put papers You can in get it. these clear files. I got them at Kinokuniya. They have a shop in New York City, but they have an online thing too. They're very cheap. Uh, this like one $3 was like, $3. yeah, like three bucks. They have some that are nicer quality. But here's just something that you can get online that's, they're not very good folders, but they look pretty. They're really popular in Japan for some reason. Yes. Like you just put five papers in them. And you also get a soundtrack. This isn't it, obviously, and that wasn't it. But Pretend. you would get a soundtrack. My Max and my soundtrack. Cycle. Yeah. And you also would get like a mini art book. And you yeah. also get a figure of the legendary. So yes. it's like the best so thing ever. So one of whichever one. Also, the soundtrack only has three songs. Yeah, so, yeah. it's like a mini yeah. soundtrack. But like, they get so much more than us. And the figures aren't very good quality, but it's pre-order bonus, it's, not paying extra yeah, for it. Yeah, free figure, free. So that's awesome. Okay, so is yeah. that it? So that's all the X and Y yes. crap. Yes, we cannot stress that the Target, you can technically pre-order and then take away your pre-order. You get the pin, yeah. you can get it. You get it when you pre-order, and then you get a $5 like Target gift card. Target gift card, but that's after you get the game. So if you want to pre-order and then cancel it, because like we got it really cheap on Amazon, the game, because we had free credit, so... Yeah. Okay, so plushies, we're just gonna start in order that I attained them. There's not too many here. Um, first, I'm showing my Dark Lugia plushie. Yeah, I, I know, I always call them Darky. Yeah, that's funny because it's Dark Lugia in Japan. I know. <laughs> that's that, it just It just feels right. I know. Um, it's dark. I take my tags off, but not my little yeah, see, these guys. <laughs> um, oh, I love him. I got him at Epcot a long, and long he's time super ago rare. when he was very new. He's actually in very good condition, except for a little stain I have right up here, considering I was a little kind of little kid, I'm surprised. Unlike my next plushie, which is my horsey plushie. What I love horsies, one of my favorite jealous. Pokemon. He's, I got him at my very first Kineticon convention, not my first anime convention, but my first one in Connecticut, it's Kineticon. Um, he's in horrible, he's torn up. I love this guy, I attached so him to cute. my bag, cause he's awesome. He's not a polka doll, but his, this is official and his quality is amazing. If you get him new, this is gonna be one of your favorite plushies. He's just <laughs> really, Nice, but mine, you can see the, <laughs> the quality. I think it's called yes, he's pilled, he's not stained, but aged. Yeah. He's he's primed like a good wine. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Horsey. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Monocle horsey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, and then. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to be passing me, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here I got my sand dial a little bit more recently. I wasn't a big plushy Pokemon plushy collector when I was a kid, I was more into the anime and whatnot. So here's my sand dial, just a Poke doll. Got him from the Pokemon Center. Same thing with my Turtwig, got him for the Pokemon Center. When I didn't know what I was doing in the card game, I ran a Torterra deck and it was horrible, <laughs> but it made me really love Turtwig. I'm a huge Bulbasaur fan, so I was like, hey man, you like Bulbasaur's brother. Yeah. And then I got brother. my, not a Polka doll, Deerling from, <laughs> I think, Toys R Us. Yeah. It was really cheap yeah, on clearance or something, and 
He's adorable. He's really good at standing. And now I'm not going to be able to get him to stand because I said that. But yeah, he's, <laughs> I said that. he's pretty awesome. Uh, I, lo- I love grass Pokemon, so. More grass. Speaking of grass Pokemon, he's my superior recently at Nintendo World. The tr- they're cool. He's just a little he's too tall. thin to wrap around your neck and stay there. Yeah. They have bigger versions of these guys, but what are they, like 18 bucks or something? They're not. Um, it might be less, uh, but they're not no. too bad. Cons oh, are going to. Yeah, at cons, they have unofficial oh, right, bigger right, right. ones. They're not yeah. real Poke Dolls, but to match the superior, I have a Samurai. Just like me. Love him. Love him. I love both of those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's so adorable. I love his head. He reminds me. If anyone's seen, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Nurari Hyon no Mago, I believe it's what it's called. And the uh, <laughs> evil demon father has these things, and it reminds me of them. I'm like, this must be a Japanese just reference fat. that I have to get. Yeah. Then we got our trio of me, Andrew, and Times 4. I mean, oh, uh, Kabalian and Tarakian and Verizian. Cool. Made a little joke because I ended up just loving Verizian. So I was like, oh, I'm Verizian. Even though I consider Verizian a guy, I consider him just like a fashionista. Mm-hmm. Um, Tarakian's adorable. He's like Times 4 because he was running a Tarakian, and Andrew just loves Kobalion, or Kobalion, as some people say, but I like Kobalion. Yeah, yeah. Teach his own, however they want to say it. I butcher some things myself. Yeah. But, and we always say that Kyle is Keldeo, because Kyle he- hates Keldeo, but he kept pulling Keldeo cards. And, and the last one that's left. Next we have a Litwick that Andrew actually got for Times 4 I for his it. birthday. Yeah, for it's it. adorable. I never ever noticed that this was his nose. I always considered it his arm, so he's not as cute as I thought. Wait, you consider it a third arm? Yeah, I just I thought he was just like a weird creature <laughs> with one eye. I, I thought, yeah, maybe his mouth I saw, but yeah. I was just like, yeah. But now I see it as his nose, and I don't think he's as cute. But <laughs> but he's still adorable. And now my favorite one, only like, because my most recent. And he was technically a hundred yen because I got him in Japan in a crane game and I won on my first try and it was only Hyakuen, only a hundred yen. But then I tried like four more times and failed because I was trying to get a shiny Genesec plushie that was adorable. So technically I spent like five bucks on him. But I love him. He's not a polka doll, but God, I love him. He's so awesome. Let's see his tag. I didn't take that one off. Doesn't really say much, but... Whatever that company that is. I'm not a big company person when it comes to plushies, just figures. But yes, and that is it. So Thank cute. you for watching, and I really recommend picking yeah. up those pins. They're great. They are great. Uh, good quality, and like I said, you technically don't really have to pay much to get them, but like if you don't want to be a jerk like us and cheat the system, you can just get the game at Target. <laughs> Target? Yes, Target. Target. <laughs> Thank Target. you for watching Legitimate Hacks.